Getting the Certified Coding Specialist credential can open the door to a bright career path. But to get there, candidates must first pass the CCS exam. Joe Santos, AHIMA's Senior Manager of Certification Services, offers three tips for a smooth test-taking experience. A good strategy for uh, studying for the CCS exam would be to review the exam content outline. And the content outline contains uh, all the related domains, job domains, and job tasks, which are derived from a job analysis. A job analysis collects all of the job inform related information uh, that a CCS performs on the job. And questions on the exam are written based on the various domains and tasks on the job analysis. So it does not, uh, what it does not do, it just covers on the coding. It does cover um, many areas, uh, including health data management, coding, compliance, uh, and, and other areas as well. So you have to pay attention on what those content areas are, and that's how you would develop your um, schedule for studying. Another important tip to consider on the day, of the day of the exam is to get plenty of sleep the night before your examination appointment. Um, you can log into Pearson View's website um, to uh, get the location, exact location of the testing center. It provides the address as well as a map. So um, you, know, you can get to the test center on time. We recommend uh, a half hour or 30 minutes arrival prior to your examination date to allow for registration and check-in. Uh, you'll be provided a locker for your materials. Um, there will be no materials uh, that will be allowed in the testing room, so you will be given a locker to um, store all your other materials. Now for uh, check-in purposes and registration, ensure that you have the required uh, forms of identification and uh, also the required uh, coding books to use on the exam. And that information is available on our candidate guide as well as the authorization to test letter that you receive indicating what uh, forms of ID and what materials you need to bring at the test center on the day of your examination. Another tip to consider would be on the day of the exam as you're taking a test is to uh, manage your time better on the exam. Uh, as you prepare for the exam, keep in mind that uh, you should know that the exam is four hours long and, uh, and also you should know how many questions there are on the exam so you can better manage the time you spend on each question. So it's a four hour exam, there are 97 multiple choice questions in addition to eight medical case scenarios. Eight medical case scenarios consist of four inpatient and four outpatient records. We generally advise to spend uh, an average of 60 seconds or a minute for each multiple choice question and approximately 15 to 18 minutes for the medical record cases. Uh, that, should, that should be enough time uh, to allow you to uh, go back for questions that you weren't sure about within that four hour block. For more help preparing for the CCS exam, look for the article Top 10 Challenges of Passing the CCS Examination and How to Overcome Them in the January issue of the Journal of AHIMA.